Hi everyone, this is Vicki, and um, I'm going to show you um, my array of cupcakes here. Um, but first, I just um, feel really bad that I couldn't remember the people's names, and it's not that they are not important to me. They are. Um, you guys are all important to me, and um, I want to make sure that I get your names correct and your YouTube names, but um, uh, I apologize for that, and um, in the future, I'll be more prepared, so I just want to say that, because I feel so terrible, and um, so anyway, um, I showed in my previous video the, um, uh, the, the Sizzix haul that I did, and it's all because of Crafty Kate 7 who is Gloria. And she um, told us about the um, the uh, sale, and if it weren't for her, um, I would not have been able to get this, and also many other people, I'm sure. But let me just talk, say, talk for myself that um, I wouldn't have gotten the fantastic um, sale price. So thank you, Gloria. I appreciate that if you're watching. And so everyone else, go and check her channel out, Crafty Cake 7 and um, she has this really, really nice voice, and um, she is just a, a sweet lady who has um, her own great uh, projects to share. Next, I want to say how um, I uh, neglected to <laughs> say uh, Anna's name correctly, Asian Tiger. 513 and I watch her channel also and she's a sweetheart um, and she showed us the uh, keep calm stamp of which I was able to um, get that haul uh, get that stamp and I appreciate that um, Anna so thank you and I'm sorry to you too and then um, I got a stamp the taiko drums and also the um, uh, little Japanese um, uh, parasol girl and um, that is from Jenny Sakamoto and she's in, she's from Hawaii and um, her company is called Sister Stamps and I believe that she um, her, her uh, I don't know who does one one designs and, and the other uh, or, or maybe they both design and make the stamps, um, but uh, her and her sister. So um, you can get those at www.hanko, H-A-N-K-O, designs.com. And um, I really love those, and I am Japanese heritage, so I just really um, enjoy those, um, those kinds of things because it is keeping my culture. And I want to do that for my um, grandson as well to keep him going on, on our culture. So um, check her out also, um, these three ladies, because they help me out. And I want to um, do the same for them because I think that will help my viewers out also. Um, so you're looking at one of my um, flowers here. Um, and that is... Um, that is... Um, my um, Teresa Collins flower coined by uh, Rena Stampstress and so <clears throat> I'm I just put that up because I just love it and I also have this little um, Dega um, picture of his um, ballerinas which is so gorgeous and so I just put that together like that um, then um, I just have this little napkin um, which is apropos for the um, uh, the cupcakes that I'm going to show you. I just got a, a message from um, the Robin Laura, and she said that um, she made one, and she showed it on Facebook, and it's really beautiful, very elegant looking. And she said she's going to name it OC Cupcakes because they don't have any calories and, and no um, regret. Or something like that. I'm sorry, <laughs> I can't remember. Me and my my, uh, my memory. <laughs> so anyway, um, so um, I'm sure she's going to be showing that soon. But 
eat now for tomorrow we diet. But with these cupcakes, you don't have to eat them. You don't have to um, diet. You just look at them. So I made my, the first one I'm going to show you is the one I made for my daughter. Um, I made it for her birthday, which was last month, uh, June. And um, I put it in this dome. And so I think it came out really, really cute. I'm going to go up close and show you. I've got the Articake Cupcake um, that's on hanging from the top. And then you can see the cupcake. She loves stars. I put a little star on the top. And um, then she likes the um, uh, aqua color. Uh, and so I put that with a little bit of pink because she is a girly girl too sometimes. Um, she has, she likes the sweets. There's a, a so you see that I found this um, dome at, um, um, I think it was Home Goods. I found this. And so, uh, oh no, it was Marshall's. I did. Um, it was Marshall's. And I actually got two. Uh, this one and a, a smaller one, but I just love that it just fits perfectly in there. It doesn't fit in my camera, but if you can see that, I wish it would focus. But um, so anyway, um, that's hers. Then this one over here is um, I put on one of uh, Paper Lady. Um, Paper Bag Lady 1, Julie. Hi, Julie. Um, her, one of her doilies, it had, um, a, it was a five-leaf, um, looks like a, 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 just leaves, and so with sequins, and I, I cut one off, and, um, and made it into kind of like a butterfly, put some feather on the top there. And then uh, it has the uh, cupcake uh, paper around it, uh, same as the this one here. But I put um, the this lace over it. If you want to see that, and um, I think it came out cute. What's good about these is you can just change the top. Um, you can take this off and you can put plain top on it. So. I could put like this and it looks different. You can see that. Um, so I'm not sure whether I like this one or not on top of there, but um, I love that heart. Don't you love that bling on the top? And so I made this to, to go with that. And then over here, I wanted to do a little bit of elegance with um, a kind of this is a Teresa Collins um, paper at the, and then there's the bling and then I have on the top this um, cupcake has a little crown on it and so I thought that was really cute um, back here I have the black I kind of changed that flower and I like it a lot better with the pearls in the center and um, uh, wrapped around the trim and then I put down on the bottom here um, the black and white um, uh, rosette and then I put this um, paper here I don't recall the name of that paper I think um, it was a paper pack I just um, took out um, then we go over here and I did do um, this lacy one here this is from um, Lavis Lace lavish laces. Hi, Gisela. And, um, and then put a little bling on the top here. And this is, um, has my favorite little star on top. I just love that. Um, so it's a two-tone one. And then you come over here to this one. And I just want to tell, um, people that if they don't have, can't find those, um, little um, planter cups that you can get these at Michael's and it works pretty well 
Um, and you can still stick a, a little bit in there. Put a little cupcake liner in there, and then um, and then just um, put these together. The and it's a paper. It's flat, and then you just uh, adhere it together. So you can do that one. And I did put this little cute little um, stick pin on the top of this one, and it has a little bird. It came together. I mean, not together, but it came in a a set with this bird and this this um pearl uh, that I got at Joanne's so I thought that was really cute okay and then back here I did a little bit more to this one I've got the um um uh, the same paper that I made earlier with my tutorial and then I put blinged it up uh put that Martha Stewart um uh, on the edge, of, on the around it, it's a border. It's the heart border that I had gotten um, from Michaels. It was uh, as is um, borders, and so I put that around, and then I put um, the Forever Twenty One earring right in the center, a little seam binding, a little bling around it, and then on the top is this a, also a two tone pink, and has my favorite little star on there on the top and then over here you have um, this is the paper is um, the primrose stack VCWV um, from Michaels and then it's got a little lace from um, Gisela lavish laces that's uh, going around with some bling I got in um, LA and then uh, two-tone turquoise with the topping is an earring um, from um, Forever 21 and it's a little cameo. It's real pretty. I thought the, the those two colors went well with the paper. And then let's see what we got. Um, I think those are all the cupcakes but this is the dome I also um, got I showed in one of the, my other videos and I have all my flowers in it and there's a little birdie on the top and then the next one on the left I have some flowers in there and that's one I got at Michael's little bird cage and I'm going to put my darker colors in there and then the white one with a little bird on top of there I'm going to put those with the um, blue tones in there and um, that one is from Creative Young Mama um, Marissa, she just gave that to me um, Friday, and so I put this on, on my area where I make my flowers. And then down here, in this little tray, I'm going to show you what's in here. Some of my um, newer flowers that I've made. Let me move this out of the way, and I'm going to show you some of my newer flowers. Um, this one right here is um, I made um, this is a puffy flower but I put in this um, crochet isn't this beautiful this crochet uh, flower that um, doily that okay I'm not prepared <laughs> okay this is made by um, uh, she is from Canada. I am bad again. Um, and she um, made these for me. Let me see if I have some right here beside me. Because I did, um, I did have them. And I'm going to set this down right here so you can see that. And she um, wanted to send me some crochet flowers. And her name is Cheryl, and she's um, Deli Girl, D E L Y G I R L, 1961. Uh, that's her YouTube name. And she made a bunch of um, crochet flowers for me and wanted to see what I would do with them. And so, first, I wanted to start out using, doing, putting them on my, on my, um, here's the bag, and I've already shown these on a haul video um, or a rack video. So um, this is what I've done with that, and then there's a Forever 21 earring in the center. 
Okay, and then also what I did was, um, here is a, a peach color one, and what I did was um, take that paper bag lady's leaves with the, um, with, these are the um, sequins on there, and um, put some of the lace that from Paper Bag Lady also in between. And then this is the, a second doily in the back that, um, that um, I received in the package um, <clears throat> from Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl, and thank you so much, Cheryl. I love your um, crochet flowers, doilies. They're just gorgeous. So this is another one that I've made with her um, doily. Okay, and so uh, what else I've done is this one is a smaller one, and I put um, a crochet doily in the center here, and then um, the cr on the on the bottom also with a prima leaf and I did um, put some pearls on top of it also. This one here I've got the um, Bona um, eyelash eyelash trim through here which makes it a little more shabbier and beautiful and um, and then I, I uh, put one of um, Paper Bag Lady One's Julie's um, doily here and then there's um, there's just one puffy flower and the back of this one I did um, finish it off and I have finished off some of them like this with um, some um, brocade um, material and just a, a slip stitched it on there and so it's a really nice nice flower um, I'm just going to put that one on the table. I think I, I've already shown these, my, my gingham flowers. And um, I don't know if I showed this one, but I've got a rolled, rolled flower in the center. And then um, this is a, uh, a piece of doily and some tulle and some lace here in the back. And that's what it looks like in the back. Um, then um, there, I mean... Oh, I guess I didn't finish this off, but this is a purple, purple uh, earring. Um, and this is a small one also. And then I've made um, this one. And um, it's a pa uh, pale blue. I made this one for um, my friend, Marilyn G., who loves um, this powder blue I found out she's having a um, a challenge and so go check out her channel Marilyn G she's doing a challenge um, check her video out um, getting ready to do um, make her challenge um, um, project and so this is one thing this is a flower my puffy flower and then I've got um, some uh, cheesecloth, and then I've got a doily on the underneath. I think you've seen all the rest of them, and so um, that's all I have to share today. Um, I have. I hope you have a really, really nice week. Um, I'll be busy with my grandson, and you'll be you'll be busy working, or maybe you're a stay-at-home mom and lucky you. <laughs> so have a good week and I'll talk to you um, next week and we'll see what we'll, we'll find at that time. Bye.